our venom. We made an average superhero movie uh, that the critics are being too hard on. Uh, we should not have disconnected from the Spider-Man storyline as it exists in the MCU. Hey, we urge you to subscribe to Jeff Bull Central. Uh, and like this video, I thought I'd give you a little visual aid. Checked out Venom yesterday. Got an IMAX poster. Didn't see it in IMAX. Didn't think it was necessary, to be perfectly honest with you, because I kind of was almost entirely sure that this movie was going to suck. It doesn't suck. It doesn't suck. It's average. <laughs> There's your review for you. The score is average out of average. This is not a horrible uh, superhero movie, not a horrible Marvel movie. But I gotta tell you something. I don't think that average cuts it anymore in the age of the MCU. And this being completely divorced from the rest of the Marvel movies because Sony still holds the rights and they're not willing to just let Marvel have it back, Sony. Let Marvel have it back. Um, and I'm not totally sure that Venom, as a character, is capable of supporting um, his own movie. I'm not. I'm not. A, I'm not. A, I love Spider-Man, and I love all the Spider-Man characters. But Venom still is mostly a side character who has become very, very popular. And sure, he 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 headlines his own uh, comic book every once in a while. But I think again, divorced from the larger narrative, the larger Spider-Man storyline. Um, Venom just doesn't cut it. The script is a little lazy, a little formulaic, but there are fun moments. Um, Eddie Brock himself. Uh, there's been a lot of complaints uh, about his uh, performance from the critics, but the critics are being too hard on the movie uh, in general. I think everybody's just got superhero fatigue and they're going to dump on anything that doesn't have the extra oomph wow factor of uh, something like Infinity War or Black Panther or whatever. Um, the, the, the problem with this movie is that it takes for granted that Venom is the good guy. And Eddie Brock, once he gets the Venom symbiote, he spends most of the movie trying to get it out of him. Um, but then all of a sudden, like right towards the end, it does a flip and we're saving the world and stopping a rocket for some reason. And we're buddy, buddy chum chums. It takes too much for granted, uh, including our intelligence. Um, and like I said, the script is lazy, but it's not, it's not so lazy that there's nothing to enjoy here. There's, there's fun moments. There's funny moments. But it feels like, uh, and I've heard this said, and I totally agree, it feels like a movie like made like 15 years ago before, before comic book movies really became something special with the introduction of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's out of time. Uh, and it's not the right time. And Sony just needs to cede the rights back to Marvel at this point. It's not a failure. I really did go in not expecting much, and that was kind of hard for me to kind of think about, because I do love Spider-Man, and I like Venom as a character. I mean, look at this guy. He's, he's easily one of the coolest characters uh, of the last, what was he, I think he was created in the 80s, I want to say. Um, but I think you can probably skip this one if you're not a diehard comic fan, if you're not a diehard uh, Spider-Man or Venom fan, audiences, general audiences are going to be disappointed and they're going to be wondering why this was made in lieu of connecting it to Captain America or Spider-Man or Iron Man. <coughs> Iron Man. Iron Man gets me choked up. I don't know. He's a, he's a special guy. So um, I think that you can probably skip this one. I'm not a super big fan of the Venom movie. It was a long time coming. It went through a lot of development problems. The development cycle was pretty harried. Uh, they they introduced a version of the Venom character of Eddie Brock in Spider-Man 3, Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 3, which is one of the biggest messes of a superhero movie I have ever seen. And ever since then, Sony Pictures has been scrambling to get a big screen uh, solo movie for this guy. And it just wasn't worth it. If you're into Spidey, if you're into Venom, if you're into comics, go check it out. But you'll probably just be kind of like, eh, that was okay. And then forget all about it. Eh, that was alright. If you have no affinity for any of these characters, you're going to be disappointed. Therefore, and that's all I really have to say about it, 
which is which is hard for me because I I do like comics. Obviously, my shrine, my mecca to comics, as you can see. So Jeff Bull Central is going to give the Venom movie a uh, six out of ten, average. Yeah, disappointing. Not as disappointing as I thought it'd be. You're gonna forget it not long after you see it. Move on. Next thing, bring on Captain Marvel in the spring. They had a trailer for that. It looks pretty cool. That's all I got to say, everybody. Until next time, uh, Jeff Bulls Central gives Jeff Bulls Central a 10 out of 10. Like and subscribe. Don't delay. Do it today. Great rhyme. Bye. Also, do me a favor. Jump on Amazon real quick and buy Brave New Multiverse a collection. Short stories redefined.